angry Avery returns. What? Your face. You get all mad and your eyebrows do that thing. It's cute. <laughs> it's my mom. She's been on me for years to come back to Boston and take a leadership role in the Harper Avery Foundation. And now she is ringing that bell again. That loud, very loud bell. You're leaving? No, I work here. Did you prep Mr. Preston for the rhinoplasty? It's been pushed. Lee says Dr. Hunt's canceling all non-emergent surgeries. I actually thought that's what angry Avery was. It's the fifth time this week. Never thought I'd say this, but maybe my mom has a point. But I wouldn't be comfortable with... Really? That's a... Really? I was able to do some rearranging and get Avery's rhinoplasty back on the board. He's on the phone with the Boston chief of plastic surgery. Joe was right. You're that girl. I know. We're all about to lose our jobs, and all I can think about is the fact that I'm going to have to stop sleeping with him. I'm so gross. On the sex can't be that good. Look at him. Really? I'm going to go talk to him. Every step you take is a giant leap backward for womankind. There goes the right to vote. Roe v. Wade, cut it out. Besides, you're just as bad. You were hung up on Karev for weeks. Yeah, but you don't want to be like me. You hate me. Thanks. And I don't hate you. Yeah, you do. Boston, then. No, not Boston. My mom wouldn't want to win that way anyway. But it's probably time to start thinking about someplace else. What about you? Where are you headed? I don't know yet. You never know. We could end up somewhere near each other. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, sure. Suction, please. 